Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to do a quick unboxing of the new Ortor 20 watt laser uh, module. I recently got this, actually just came today, and just wanted to kind of crack it open and show everybody what's inside. I know there was a lot of, I guess, controversy around the how it's installed, I guess. Um, but I just wanted to go through, open it up, and just have a look what's what it all comes with. And then I'll be making a follow-on to do the installation on uh, the Laser Master 3. And uh, looking to see how to install it, and then also how to, you know, install that little module, I guess the, um, the circuit board that you have to install with it. Uh, maybe creating a, a box on the side for it. But anyway, um, that'll be a later video. So let's go ahead and jump into this one and see what's in the box. So I've been really looking forward to uh, them releasing this module here. And when it came out, uh, I went ahead and purchased it. I know it's quite a bit of money to throw down for for a 20 watt module, and there's a lot of other competitors out there putting out 20 watt models modules as well. But I wanted to give this one a go because I've had good luck with their machines and the quality and the support for uh, you know their components. So I wanted to go ahead and support the this company by uh, purchasing this module. So taking the, the foam off, comes with a couple, looks like quick sheets here. So could go ahead and see, gives you a list of different material here. And uh, these are for, this is the settings for laser gerbil. And then it also gives you another uh, booklet for light burn. So that's good. It gives you a, it looks like how to, uh, the image mode. So if I'm looking at say pine, it's grayscale, uh, intervals, speed, power, min and max, or it looks like min. And this is min too, but I think that's supposed to be max. It looks like a typo. But uh, it gets down to, you know, the different stainless steel here. And up at the top, it gives you the different modules here. So these are the older modules, these two. And then you have the 10 watt and the 20 watt. So comparing, say, MDF here, the first one. If I go over to, say, the 10 watt, I have the min power zero, max power. I'm guessing this is max. 100 but then for the 20 watt the max is at 40 so there's quite a bit of uh, like the reduction and uh, the power needed so that's nice to have looks pretty covers a lot of different material looks like and different uh, thicknesses for cutting so that's that's a nice to have uh, you have the a warning uh, paper so it looks like I'll be needing to use an air pump with this uh, otherwise temperature is too high to catch fire so I guess uh, yeah the temperature is gonna be you know extreme that it'll it might catch fire to either the material it looks like I can't tell if it's the material of the actual laser module that'll uh, burn up but uh, it gives you some tips here for engraving, cutting, and then when to clean the lens here. And I did pick up a, a new air assist also, so I'll, I'll show that as well. Uh, get the, the manual, how to do the install. I'll walk through the install on, the, on my machine in, in the, the following video. And you get a bunch of parts in here. So 
here's a bag of looks like your air assist parts some kind of coupler here not sure what the coupler is for uh, and then different screws and zip ties and then here's your here's a bracket that'll fit on uh, you know for the mounting on the machine there's a another mounting bracket here your air hose your air assist hose another little support block it says in the, the instructions so another uh, mount for it all right this is the OUC module so this was this is what is causing I guess the upster online is that you need to use this so here's a close-up of it what's included or what the different ports on there are so you got a switch it looks like a fan switch here um, your outputs up at the top there's some more outputs here and then inputs here at the bottom then you get a another power supply so this one's rated at 4 amps here and what I've heard is that this module it needs I think 7 amps at least minimum to run and that's why you need to use the the extra board and this power supply because you'll have this 4 amp plus your the original the one that comes with the the, the laser which is a 3 amp and this is going to um, I guess combine together to use that 4 amp or to use a 7 amp you know so that's that's the purpose behind this Then your <clears throat> the, the power cord. And then here's your your laser. <clears throat> so you can see it's the the LU three dash twenty A, so the twenty twenty watt. Uh, module this is a bracket so attached already you have your your uh, I guess your height gauge there to the material it's nice there and then your protective glass there and then underneath it has the the nozzle on there already I don't know if you can remove it or not and some massive looks like heat sinks or or kind of fan ducts on the side and then you have a fan on this side and a fan on this side your you got two LEDs at the top for power and PWM so when it's on it probably starts flickering and then your cable your your cable for it it's not like the the 20 watt where it's a plug-in this one's permanently attached to to there and then you have your air assist plug and uh, the inlet here's a quick comparison against the 10 watt so you can see it's massive compared to the the 10 watt And weight, I mean, probably twice as twice the weight of the the ten watt. So you can see here, it's just over say four and seven eighths of an inch. There, I'll do it in 
I don't have metric on this one, but uh, four and seven eighths in height, just you know two two and an eighth inches wide, and about two and a quarter in you know depth, I guess compared to say three and three eighths one and what's that five one two three yeah five eighths and it's about the same one and five eighths so it's uh, pretty massive compared to the 10 watt laser the other thing I picked up was a new air assist. It's from Ortor also, but it's not, it's I think a 30 liters, I forget what they do like per minute. I, I'm not sure exactly how they, they rate it. I think it's 30 liters per minute or, or it could be per second, I, I don't know. I'll put it up on the screen. I'm using a aquarium pump right now and I picked this one up just to test out there was a sale on it. So there's there's the other one that has Ortor's name on it. I think that's 50 liter and it was a little more expensive, but I think this one should be good enough. Uh, it comes with the manual here. You can see all the parts that it, it comes with. and just how to install everything in there. Then the actual air pump, I'll get to the, this, some of the parts that were included. You get two types of air nozzles. So there's one nozzle there, and then you have one that's, it looks like a flexible nozzle. to direct the air down. That's pretty pretty neat. So it kind of stays where stays put so you can really aim it. And then the another one here. And then all your other connectors inside. Like a coupler or a, some kind of adapter. Then you have an adjustment on how much flow you want, or the, the how much airflow you want. And it's also the on and off button. And then, if I can get this out, the air assist module, or the air assist unit has some rubber feet for I guess dampening the vibrations on it. I'll go ahead and plug it in and just see how loud it is. So that's all the way up. Not sure if you could tell. It's it's not horrible. I mean, you know, typical sound I guess you would get from a an air assist so anyways just wanted to go through that real quick and show you what you know this new uh, air assist unit from Ortor hope you enjoyed the video just a quick unboxing of these two products I'll leave a link down below for uh, the links to these two uh, these items I purchased them on Amazon this one had I think a $20 off coupon and the module had a hundred dollar off coupon on it. I don't know how long they they're, those are good for, but um, yeah, check them out. So appreciate you taking a look at this video. Let me know if you have any questions or comments, um, you know, about them. And also let me know down below, like in the comments, on what you're most interested to see, what material you you want to see this used on.
So go ahead and uh, yeah, subscribe and so you could check out the next video of me installing this and actually getting getting it up and running. So appreciate your time. Thanks.